Well, it is definitely not a place without its problems. But do perceptions truly match reality? A local teen would say no, and she's hoping to convince you of the same. She's a high school freshman with a huge goal. And she's taking aim at harmful stereotypes, and she has a plan. I met up with Cheyenne Anderson at Bosky School to hear about how she hopes she can change your mind. It's loud, it's colorful, it's fun, it's very vibrant. She sees her neighborhood differently than others. I got a lot of like negative responses when I would tell people where I was from. I would write a lot of like, oh, you're from the South Valley. And I hated it growing up. Cheyenne Anderson says she used to be ashamed. I didn't like to tell people where I was from. I didn't like to bring people over to my house. Oh, I hear that's really dangerous. My mom won't let me go down there. There's a lot of violence. Now she's doing something about it. This is one of my favorite photos. She's putting together a book called South Valley, a collection of art. At night, you can always see the parents like looking in at their kids. And it's just like a wholesome detail. And poems. Doesn't everything die at last and too soon? Tell me what is your plan to do with your own wild and precious life? All from people with a connection to the South Valley. The book will have contributions from Pulitzer Prize nominated writers like Jimmy Santiago Baca and Mary Oliver and her fellow South Valley classmates and writers as young as nine. It's trying to show just the real beauty of our neighborhood. She has some ideas of where this book will go. With this book, I'm hoping to put it in a lot of schools and give it a lot of access to younger children so that they can never feel like that, so that they always know that their community is beautiful and it shouldn't be looked down on. Being the change she wants to see. And they can like truly make their life out there and they shouldn't be held back by what other people think. Anderson says the book she showed us is just a demo. The final book should be completed by the end of the month. Then they plan to do readings and to get it into libraries first in the South Valley and then beyond.